So now in this video, we're just going to take a quick look at this multi-turn trim pot I got. So I got it out of this uh, Bojack kit right there, ordered it from Amazon. But in case these uh, trim pots here, they have a number written on them to indicate their value. This one says 101 right there. So what that means is you got a 1 for the value followed by a 0 for the value. And then basically how many more zeros you got after that. So one zero with one more zero is 100. So if it says one and then zero and then two, that means there's a total of three zeros for a thousand. If the first number is two, then the first uh, number is two in the value. Again, the zeros is the same numbering system. Pretty straightforward. So it's a trimmer potentiometer, trim pot for short. You can see potentiometer on their kit. So it has the values of a potentiometer, but it's smaller. That's why it's a trimmer. So now we'll take a quicker look at the component. You could probably see on the uh, box that uh, it's got three pins right there, but there they are again. And there is a resistor schematic symbol right there. So we got the one and then a bunch of jagged lines working its way to three. That is the resistive element. Number two right there, there's a little arrow at the top is the wiper. That is the middle. So it slides up and down that resistive element. And I don't think there's anything else uh, terribly exciting up there but there you can see right there the 101 for the value that I mentioned before so now we're gonna place it on the board to make measurements I'm setting it on my uh, good board that cheap board did not work at all I was making uh, terrible uh, connections but in any case I got the three pins lined up with those three jumpers right there this is an auto ranging meter all I have to do is set it to the uh, resistance symbol there and we will get the resistance so as we mentioned before, this is a 100 ohm uh, trim pot. So when we measure the uh, top and the bottom right there, we should get uh, pretty close to 100 ohm. They're not gonna be spot on right there. And uh, we're about 2% away. Now, we have the wiper in the middle. So that's the full resistance from one end of the resistive element to the other. You can see between these two where the uh, wiper is right there, we got about 70, a little less than 70. So we should expect about a 30 there, maybe uh, slightly more than 30, depending on the exact value of the resistive element. And there you can see we got 30. It breaks up that resistance. You rarely use the resistance from one end to the other. Usually it's a certain amount of resistance between two of the uh, terminals. So now I have my uh, alligator clips with the jumper on them. They add resistance, so it uh, might uh, shift it there plus uh, how well the connections. We have a lot of uh, resistance points there. But in any case, this is the full resistance. Now it is showing 100. I'm gonna move this up to the wiper as we saw before. There is about 70 ohms of resistance. And again, we have 70 ohms resistant. Now we go to the uh, screw right there. And this is how we adjust both the uh, resistances. So from the top to the bottom. So I'm going to counterclockwise. And you can see it is going down right there. And uh, you don't have to worry about going all the way from one end to the other. It just uh, disengages the uh, screw once uh, it reaches uh, one range or the other. And uh, you can keep turning it. doesn't do anything. So we got uh, 50 there. Now we will uh, move this back so that uh, we got uh, the 100 right there. And, of course, again, we got somewhere about 50 at that other resistance right there. So it's dividing up the resistance if you look at it this way. And now we are measuring voltage. Since this is only a 100 ohm resistor, I'm gonna use one volt right there. And you can see you got the meter, meter set to uh, voltage. And we're gonna, that was the voltage across the resistive element. And there you can see we got about half of that from the uh, top. It looks like we'll probably have a spec more between the uh, wiper and the bottom half right there, as we saw before, because there was a little more resistance there. So again, it's dividing up that resistance. If I get the uh, screwdriver here, we'll zoom back. And don't worry about this other circuitry. That's uh, stuff I'm planning for other videos and earlier videos as I did. So if I go counterclockwise, I think it goes down. There you can see the voltage is going down. It's a voltage divider. And of course, as this one goes down, the other one rises. And uh, But you set 
usually the way we had it before. But there you can see that one went up when this one went down. And if you want this one to go up now and the other one to go down, you just go clockwise. And I'm not sure how many turns it is. I think it's 30 or something right there. And uh, if we extend its complete range, it just keeps spinning and nothing changes. You don't even notice it just disengages the uh, wiper from the uh, resistive element from the screw. There you can see we topped out even as I turn it and you hear like a little click or something every once in a while. But now I'm turning it down and it uh, re-engaged right there. And finally before I forget we uh, have this uh, supply voltage only one volt because again this is a low value uh, trim pot. If it was uh, 200 ohm I would have used 5 volts but uh, in any case there you can see we have a signal voltage of 0.8. Current has to flow through that resistive element to maintain that uh, voltage right there. If we try to power a load with uh, that current coming in, that's going to throw off the voltage. This is only a signal. The multimeter is not taking really any current from this at all. It's just looking at the voltage and that's the kind of a circuitry you need to be feeding this output to. So the input of the circuitry you're feeding this to needs to have high impedance. It doesn't need current, it just looks at the voltage. So not going to uh, explain that much more anymore. Just going to end it there. So thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting to the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.